Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the new Cool House. These are ice cream cones. Um, I have the cookies and cream, the farmer's market strawberry. And I have a street cart churro dough. These were $7.99 a box at Whole Foods. Yep, there's three in a box. $7.99 for three. Yep. Okay. They definitely so. could have fit more on the box. Could they? Let's see. Because <laughs> I can open it and see. I can feel it moving around. Uh, yeah, they could have fit one, one more. At least one more. They could have fit one more right in that spot right there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give this to you. I won't complain too much. Not too much. <laughs> uh, cookies and cream. Cookies and cream ice cream in a white chocolate coated chocolate waffle cone. Mm. Sounds wonderful. Creamy and crunchy real ingredients. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, here we go. One cone. Do you have any guess how many calories that would be? Um, 250. 310. <laughs> I, I'm guessing because of the white chocolate. Um, so these are made in Culver City, California. I didn't bite into it. But that cone kind of feels soft. You can kind of squeeze it. Then it feels soft. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. Sometimes they're like that. Um, ours doesn't have as much white on top at all as this one does on the picture. No, I mean it was okay. It's soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looked. Well, it felt very soft. Until you get about halfway down. Mmm. There is, okay. The whole inside of that is lined with white. White chocolate. Okay. See? No. I'm, I'm disappointed that it's, it's a softer cone because I like a crunchy cone, but. I am impressed. That white chocolate went, went up all to there. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that. So I do like that. Mm, that's soft as can be. Mm hmm. But. I want my cone. Good hmm. flavor. Sorry, I spit. I want my cone to be crispy. Mm -hmm. um, it does have a good. Um, I get the cookie, I do cookies too. and cream. Especially when you eat some of the ice cream with the cone, you really get the cookies and yes. cream flavor. Yes, yes, that's what you need to do in order to really get the full effect of it. Um, and I really do like the the white chocolate, mm -hmm. but I would like a crisp cone. Yeah, I'm disappointed in the cone a little bit. And you know what? You buy a box, they might all be crispy. You know, it's just, it's it seems just, to be kind of like up in the air. Or something. Right. This is our, uh, going to be our experience. Um, that one's soft. We don't know. That one's soft. We don't know how long they sit in the middle of the aisle at Whole Foods before they put them in the... The freezer, yeah. you know, you just don't know. They're, or they might all just be a soft cone. Or they might all be a soft cone. So it will be interesting once some people get them and try them. You can let us know in the comments were your cones soft. So is this cone, does it feel soft? A little bit, yeah. Okay. This is the this Farmer's like Market really, really Strawberry. Off. And see, on the picture, they show the whole thing in white. Yeah, it's just a lie. Ours does not, yeah. <laughs> it's just a lie. We, we just have to know that. That's marketing. Strawberry ice cream and a white chocolate coated waffle cone. Yeah, but I think it, if it's going to show it as white, that like. It's covered pretty decently. You think? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 260 calories. Well, the big hole on that one. Oh. They're gonna air hole. Oh wow. Yeah, <laughs> look at look at that. When they put the top there's, on there was an air bubble. Yeah, there's a pocket in there. Um no, the white covering is not nearly as thick as it should no. be. I was just kidding. It like ran off. Yeah, it's uh well they're filling they're putting that paper cone around there and then they're putting a little more ice cream in there and filling the top up with the white mm -hmm. and that's it. That's all they're doing. <coughs> that cone is also soft by the way. Do you wanna try that? since I tried the last one. Um, I do like the flavor very, very much of the strawberry. I do too. Um, that kind of soft all the way down to the bottom though. Oh, is it? I mean, it's a little crunchier down at the bottom, but it's, it's softer than it's I not. do think the strawberry is a nice flavor. Yeah, I like the flavor of the ice cream. I have no problem with that. 
I don't even have a problem with the cone. I really wish it was crunchier because that soft cone just doesn't give them a good, a good mouth feel as far as when you're eating mm -hmm. it. But, you know, it's good. It is a nice, fresh strawberry flavor, mm -hmm. though. And I like the white coating, whatever that is. It, it gives it a cream flavor. So now these are the street cart churro dough. And these are churro dough and chocolate chip ice cream in a chocolate fudge coated waffle cone. Now we'll see. Now the top of this one This is, one you can really see. That's how much you Okay, can, that's that how much. That one you can tell. That's how much the other two were, the white was. Yes, but you just couldn't tell with the white, co the coloring of the white. Yeah, that's, that's how much they were coated. Much. It is not like the picture on the top no, of that. It, it's, like I said, that's marketing. Yeah, it, but I truly, if you're paying so, uh, $8, not $7, $8 for a box, I think it should be for three. Yeah, it should be coated. Um, this is 300 calories. So churro dough and chocolate chip ice cream and a chocolate fudge coated waffle cone. Yeah, I wanted the whole top cover just like in the picture. Not, and it would have made a difference with the sweetness of it. I like the ice cream. It does have a good cinnamon churro kind of flavor. That, that cone is a little crunchy. It's not crunchy crunchy, but it is crunchier than, than the other ones have been. Mm -hmm. um, I like the flavor of the ice cream, but I really wish they had more chocolate. Because that chocolate adds a lot of flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And you get the little churro dough pieces. Mm -hmm. And that cone is better. Mm -hmm. Which tells me that I think they were all probably supposed to be, supposed to be that way. closer to this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wherever their quality control was failing, it could have been at Whole Foods, could have been the truck that shipped them there, mm -hmm. could have been in the factory, wherever that's failing at, they need to get a handle on that. There's a lot of places not uh, as good. between here and California. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's somewhere, it, something's going wrong to where it's, it's getting soft. And, and it's not end of the world kind of thing, but, you know, first world problems, we got soft ice cream cones. Right, but, <laughs> right. Oh, I know. But that's what we're here for. We're here to review them. Yeah, so we're going but to... it ruins the it ruins the experience a little bit. It um, really does. I think not only do they need to work on the cone, I think they need to work on uh, covering them. Yeah, because it it doesn't look like it. And these are very very new, so it's not like these have been sitting for a while. No, these, these are good for another year and a half. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They're they're brand new on the market. Yeah. I just. You know, just to let you know, these have another year and a half on the shelf that they can literally be on the shelf. Right. This is a very raw cinnamon flavor too. Mm -hmm. It's good. It, it does, I, I do like those pieces. Um, I'll, I'm just, I'm going to be 100% honest. I personally would not pay $8 mm -hmm. a box again for these for three cups. No, these are a four dollars um, for three and <laughs> and i have had just like with the strawberry the strawberry is delicious but i've had just as good strawberry ice cream from other companies mm -hmm. uh this would be it being the soft cone and it not being completely covered it was not worth paying eight dollars for no it. eight dollars is ridiculously high for what we got yes for no. the for what we were given absolutely i yeah. think if they had done a better job with the coating and it had been a crisp cone if the quality had been better i would have said okay the quality's there totally worth it but because yeah, the flavors aren't bad but i agree with the topping really really fast for eight dollars yeah. it needs to really the bar needs to it's the bar is really high for, for an eight dollar a box product and it, to me it this did not no. none of these met my expectations no honestly i could even get by i could even overlook the softer cone if it had a good topping on it a right. good cover a but good it, coating but it, it, it but it didn't you know, i hate to say it walmart's are better uh, yes. The at, Walmart cones? That's the truth. And people about. aren't going to like hearing that because, uh, you know, some people just shop at Health Foods and they don't want to hear that. Uh, that's just the truth. Uh, Walmart makes some really delicious cones. Um, I would rather eat a drumstick, a Nestle I drumstick, over these or, any or day. One of the Walmart They're right just, now. for right now, what they are, they just need to be improved if they're going to ask that much money for them. I know it's a good brand. I know it's a well-known brand, but that's... Uh, if you were going to pick one to buy again. Probably the cookies and cream. That's the one that I would choose. Yeah, because I like the chocolate flavor in there. Yeah, the cookies and cream would be my And then my the, the churro would be my second. 
I would pick the strawberry. Because I like the cinnamon flavor. Right. So. The cinnamon, it, it is nice and you definitely get it, but it, it's a more raw cinnamon it flavor. Is. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.